Hello there. Uh, this is our pre-trip uh, pre uh, breakdown to help you navigate uh, Pinellas County beaches and also to help you with your lab write-up. You will be visiting the North Beach on Fort DeSoto. Uh, then you'll be watching that video that uh, I produced with my daughter and also some video footage shot at Fred Howard Park and Sunset Beach, which are man-made beaches in Tarpon Springs that uh, will help you with your lab write-up and help you compare the different types of beaches that we have in the county and in the state in general. So you need to make your way to shelter number nine, North Beach, uh, the gazebo. You will enter Fort DeSoto and take a right at the flagpole and follow that all the way until you reach the first North Beach entrance. It has a big sign on it. You, uh, it's on the left, you pull in and shelter nine will be the gazebo directly in front of you. So you park there and get your bearings at shelter nine and head back through the dunes and you'll find yourself at a tide pool. This tide pool has, uh, it's, it's fairly cut off from the Gulf. So there'll be low energy, a uh, lot of different sediments. It's a decent fishing place. I've, I've caught fish in there. Uh, some seagrass beds grow. Uh, it's, it's very calm, but it gets changed every storm, remember? And because water gets in input and the sands get shifted, during storms. So it changes its properties uh, every year through hurricane season. You can uh, enter the tide pool. Uh, there'll be, I see killifish there, birds feeding. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice little place. They make your way to the beach. You'll notice that the beach has a, a lot more energy, a lot more waves, uh, different sand texture, depending on you know the day and the tides. You may have a lot of shells, you may have left shells. Uh, birds running around, feeding in the sand, uh, and make your way to the mangroves. There'll be uh, a uh, little mangrove area, oh, half mile down the beach. That's a good spot to enter. Check out the, the mangrove swamp. Check out a uh, little salt marsh on the other side. You can hit the intercoastals. Uh, we'll, we'll do some video footage from that particular area as well. Uh, it has a, a, a cool history. Then when you uh, return, watch the videos that we shoot from Fred Howard Park and Sunset Beach. These are man-made on a sound, not on the open gulf, so it'll have very different sand. Uh, the riprap causeways to get there uh, change tidal flows and uh, wave action, so it'll ha it has a very different dynamic that hopefully we'll learn from. Uh, make sure you wear your sunscreen because things can get uh, very sunny here in Florida and we wanna say no to skin cancer. All right, so our beach communities, uh, you can see we'll start from offshore and move our way to the breaker zone where the uh, waves break. You can see it's got a little notch and that's where the waves carve out. So you, your sandbar would be on the gulf or ocean side of the breaker zone. The waves tumble, carve out that little notch. And then you'd have another little sandbar. So you get uh, your sandbars and they're temporary. They change depending on the strength of the wave, but that's where people like to anchor and hang out and play with their dogs and uh, drink non-alcoholic Corona beer, things like that. Uh, then you have the foreshore and that is covered with tide during high tide, exposed low tide, sand's more compact, uh, get wet so you wouldn't want to throw your towel there, you'd have a wet towel. Uh, and the back shore, back shore, you would have a dry towel because that one doesn't get wet. The uh, typically debris builds up uh, between the foreshore and the, and the back shore, we call that the rack line. Uh, I'm sure we'll have video footage of that rack line. Then you got your dune system. We've uh, already talked about the dune system, how sea oats and other plants uh, 
anchor the sand and that sea breeze pushes sand there. So they're growing, they're growing. They prevent coastal erosion, they're natural levees. They prevent storm surge. They, they're very important. That's why these plants are protected. The dunes are a protected uh, area. So, you know, we talked about the foreshore, the debris line, also known as the rack line, uh, backshore, the berms uh, are the uh, little platform in the back, back shores, uh, also called a berm, dune field behind there, the sea breeze and the native plants build that up. And they're economically important because they prevent flooding and uh, break storm surge. Sand, of course, that's what our, our beaches are made of. And our particular sand is very light because of the limestone uh, that Florida has. It has a quartz that eroded down the Mississippi and a lot of shells and algae sediments mixed in. So we got this unique white fluffy sand uh, with a high biogenous, meaning coming from living things, high biogenous sediments mixed with the um, quartz from the Mississippi, which is your traditional uh, mineral-based sand. And that's why our beaches are so white, fluffy, and nice is because we have a mix. It's not a rocky sand or it's not a, a pure uh, white sand either. Uh, the rack and the flotsam, like we said, that's that debris line. Uh, sometimes it's organic, she shells, wood, seaweed. Other times it's uh, trash and it builds up uh, between the foreshore and backshore. Now on your report, obviously you're going to make a nice cover and your, your name and things and the conditions, description of the day you were there, weather, the tides, uh, the wind, abiotic, other abiotic factors, uh, temperature, the, the, whole, the whole thing. Uh, you're going to list all of the organisms that you see on your trip, taxonomic category, uh, sort them again. Complete their table with their trophic level. By now, you should know that through the ecology unit. The habitat where you saw them. Uh, well, were they in the rack line? You know, seagrass, was it in the rack line? Uh, was it uh, out in the water? Did you see dolphins? Did you see birds on the uh, foreshore uh, pecking like uh, sandpipers? Did you see birds in the back shore? Uh, so where you observed them. Uh, answer the questions, including the questions uh, comparing the different types of beaches. So you got to watch the videos and uh, do your observations of three organisms. What behavior you observe, hunting or nesting or socializing in a flock. Uh, pick out three different behaviors and describe them and the organisms. Uh, thank you and enjoy the trip. Don't forget your sunscreen.